Hi everyone, I'm Delaney. And for my final presentation, I'm gonna be talking about UAVs and drones and the threat they pose to aviation security um, in the future. What I believe the issue with them is going to be and how we can possibly um, prevent it. So drones obviously aren't a super new threat. They've been around for a while um, and there have been past security issues with them. So um, in September 2013, a UAV flew over a crowd and crash landed right in front of the German chancellor during a campaign rally. Um, and this was staged by a protester. And luckily, nobody got hurt, nobody was injured. And the intent of the protester wasn't to injure anyone. But it still kind of proved to us that that is a threat that we need to start being aware of. Um, that situation was pictured on the right hand side. Um, and there have also been numerous White House threats. So um, in January 2015, a UAV accidentally crashed into the White House. It wasn't um, into the White House property, not necessarily right on the White House. Um, as well as in May 2015, a man was arrested by the Secret Service for flying a drone too close to the White House. Um, so there are regulations in place in regards to flying drones around the White House, and obviously it's not allowed. Um, but these incidents, and there are many, many more, um, but this just outlines a few where it proved to us as a whole that we need to be aware that drones can be used to harm people and target people. Um, why are people using UAVs in this situation? Um, basically UAVs are kind of like the easiest and most optimal machine to carry out remotely at remote attacks. So obviously they have the ability to carry out the attack remotely. So the person um, doesn't need to be super close to the location that they're attacking. They definitely need to be relatively close, but they don't need to be um, at risk of being harmed themselves. Um, cost is lower in relation to other options. So in really, if you're looking at using an aircraft that is manned or using some other type of missile, um, that's definitely going to be more expensive than using a UAV or drone. Um, there's also a huge lack of existing defense against UAVs. There's not really anything that we can do if a UAV is around a crowd, is targeting someone. Um, we just don't really have the technology and nobody's really come up with it. Um, anything that we could possibly use also puts the other people who are hypothetically in that situation at risk. Um, it also provides flexibility of a launch location. You don't need a runway to, to have a drone take off. You can do it off a rooftop, you can do it off a driveway, literally anywhere. You don't need a specific place to take off. Um, they also have the ability to carry out large attacks inflicting maximum death rates. So obviously you can get very close to a group of people and attack really to where you're hitting the maximum people. Um, and it's quite easy to do. Um, how are people carrying out illegal things with drones? Um, and how are they a threat to our security system? So drones have been equipped with explosives that's shown in the top picture. Um, people take drones and are able to put, um, in this picture there are mock explosives, but they're able to put explosives onto the drone and then it can fly to their target and they can detonate the explosives. Um, another big concern is cameras, which is seen in the bottom left picture um, for surveillance. They can watch things that they shouldn't be watching um, and just gather surveillance a lot easier than ever before. And then in the picture on the bottom right, illegal substance. So using drones to get drugs or anything else that's illegal um, across borders, to other people, it just makes it really easy for them to transport it. Um, some proposed prevention for drones. There are a lot of proposed fixes for drones. A lot of them are just like not technologically tested or confirmed that they're going to work. 
So one of the most interesting ones to me is geofencing. And it's basically where um, the manufacturer has an enforced geofence that prevents the people flying the drones from going into certain exclusion, exclusion zones. So the drone like cannot go in those areas because it's programmed into them. Another way is jamming. This is something I technologically don't have a very good understanding of, but basically just preventing them from going certain places because you're disrupting the frequency. Um, and then another way, which I thought was a little funny, was more drones. So there have been drones designed to literally catch other drones, which is shown in the bottom picture, with nets or whatever to prevent them from being able to fly in an area. Um, so if they get near an airport or go near something somewhere where drones are forbidden, they're able to catch them and... Um, prevent them from flying and doing whatever they're doing. So those are kind of where drone prevention is headed. Um, and obviously these would all help with security of places like airports, um, the White House, anywhere that we don't want drones um, being able to fly. Um, these are my citations. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.